Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Right, your Trickster here. And I just wanted to talk about a couple of things. I've been getting a lot of flack or feedback on some of the feedback I've been leaving regarding whether or not Lyft is a job, Uber is a job or a side hustle. I've always leaned on the side that it's a side hustle. It's not a job. It was never intended to be a job. But I also saw a $39 call that was five minutes from my house. And that's what I really want to key in on first. So stick around. You may enjoy this. All right, so I was checking out the app. I was just sitting down watching some TV, and I, and I turned on the app, and I saw a ride request that said, you know, $39 trip, five minutes away from my house. So I looked at it, and I thought, hmm, well, you know, that could be a decent trip. But in my market, this is what I came up with. Check out the first screenshot. $39.86 per mile per minute is 45 miles. Okay, so, I mean, it, it seems that people want to see, you know, in order to believe. So, check out this screenshot. So multiply that times two, and you have a 90-mile trip. 45 miles down and 45 miles back. It's 90 miles. Now, 90 miles technically would be about 90 minutes, hour and a half. It could be two hours, depending on traffic, depending on where the call's going. So just to, for the sake of argument, I'm just going to leave it at an hour and a half. But look at this. So I took $39 that I would have made on this trip. And because my car gets rough about 25 miles, miles to the gallon on average, that's four gallons of gas for you know, 90, 100 miles. Again, averaging. So... What started out as a $39 trip has now taken me 100 miles-ish, 90 miles, has cost me $20 and an hour and a half of my time. Take the $20 away from the $39, and I literally just drove 90 miles <laughs> for 19 bucks. Damn! And burned a minimum of an hour and a half. So, is that really a job? I'm going to say no. A job is, by definition, reliable, dependable, and consistent work. Not unreliable, inconsistent, spits of, oh, we need a ride here and there. Plus, you know, we, health benefits, medical, dental, vision, retirement, none of which Lyft or Uber offer, okay? Now, and that's where I've been getting a lot of feedback and, and criticism. Well, Lyft is a full-time job. Uber is a full-time job. Do you make as much money as the top-tier drivers? Well, first of all, top-tier drivers are 1 in 5,000, <laughs> okay? One in 5,000 drivers will make sixty to $80,000 a year. And it's usually uh, Lyft or, 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 or Uber Black. And it's usually in a very high-end neighborhood. And these drivers are putting in between 60, 80 plus hours a week. Just sit back and enjoy the ride. You're not getting paid for all that time either. My job pays me about $65,000 a year. 
could be a little more, could be a little less. I don't need to give out exactly what I make. But it's definitely more than a top tier Lyft driver. And I get paid for every single minute that I'm on my clock or on the company's clock. You only get paid from Lyft or Uber when you accept the trip until the point where you end it or it gets canceled or whatever. All that time in between, driving around looking for search, driving back from a, a long trip without a passenger, just that, that whole ball of time that you are doing nothing. You're not getting paid anything. Stand up or shut up. That's all I can tell you. Don't mean for that to sound rude, but if you want to make this a job, then you need to stand up and make it a job and make Lyft and Uber pay you like a job. Because right now, you're just getting walked on. And if you, you know, if you, and the illusion of you being an independent contractor, you're not an independent contractor. You may think you are because you can log in and log out anytime you want. And that is the only reason why you are an independent contractor. You're independent of a schedule. But Lyft and Uber both dictate, and Uber Eats and DoorDash, they all dictate what you're going to make per mile, what you're going to make per minute. Um, that's a job. I mean, you're, you're not an independent contractor. You're an employee. Now, you are a part-time employee at best. But again, it's not a job. So, with that being said, uh, I'm sure I'm going to offend a lot of people. I hope a lot of people understand where I came from. And that's all I got to say. So, Wish you the best of holidays. Be safe. Be professional. Keep it real. If you must, drive on. Please be safe. A lot of stuff is going down. Carjackings and stabbings and assaults and shootings are going through the roof because of the holiday season. Um, is it really worth it? I mean, look at the big picture. Look at what you're really, really bringing home at the end of the day. And ask yourself, is this worth my life? Am I going to come home tonight? Am I going to see my wife or my husband or my kids or my significant other? Or am I going to end up on the news as another statistic? And Lyft and Uber aren't going to do shit for my family. And if you don't believe so, I've been shot at twice. Second time, the guy almost killed me. He's doing 25 to life. You know what Uber did? Nothing. I hit their 911. They heard all the commotion, but because I didn't answer, they disconnected the call. <laughs> they never sent anybody. So, be safe, everyone. Happy holidays.